Hey there everybody. Uh, so this is a little um, video. We went and made a little IKEA run and this is the Malm six drawer dresser. Uh, so I think I'd make a little video to maybe give some folks some tips that are gonna try to do one of these, assemble one of these. Uh, you know, ideally you're gonna couple people uh, putting it together is going to be your best option or maybe more maybe somebody to pull the parts and things for each step but everything's basically kind of each basically this is everything within the first box so um, first little tip is to put all your bits you know it's going to be marked parts kit number one for box number one so uh, just lay out all the bits and pieces there and um, tip number two, uh, if you use like a, some type of a drill driver or some kind of a little power tool that you can maybe regulate the torque on or something that maybe isn't quite super powerful that's going to make things go a lot quicker. This is my little DeWalt drill driver. I got it on setting number five and then the low speed, so that seemed to work out pretty well. And uh, Basically, the... Um, several of these little I'm not sure exactly what they're called it's just a little stud that you know basically mounts everything together with a little cam lock piece um, and this is the majority of how everything with the IKEA stuff in general is put together so you're gonna be putting a lot of those in the key is to just study the pictures really well there's no text there's just pictures and so just follow along you know and basically that's the bigger hole on the side where the cam lock goes and then you'll have a generally a hole for a little wooden dowel pin and then you know the other hole is where your little the little stud slips through there so we've got all these positioned and ready to put the little cam locks in to kind of lock them in place just basically following along with the directions this shot turned out a little dark but that's the basic piece there kind of didn't it newer shot here just to give you a little better visual that there'll be a little arrow pointing downwards uh, so that's or I guess it's going to be pointing towards whatever you're fastening it to and then you're going to turn that thing 190 degrees so you know like 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock clockwise position anyway after you get that done you got this longer piece here you're going to mount these two L brackets there's a hole on one end there, so just make sure you put that on the right end. You're gonna use there's basically three types of screws with this one. There's the big the big diameter flange type, which you'll use on this little hinge. You want to line those up. There's a little adjustability, so you'll want to get that all squared away. So we, these are basically the two sides. You're putting the front and the back supports there. So um, putting the top piece on here and just kind of basically gradually lined up the little studs with the holes and worked it in. This is definitely a uh, area here where a couple people working on this together would work a lot better than one person. Uh, but if you are doing it on your own just you know it's gonna be a little wimbly at this point so you don't want to you know, make you know push on it or pull on it too hard. It's gonna fall apart on you. So, um, yeah, that little piece there where the hinge is, you'll notice that it it sets down about a half an inch, so it kind of sits flush with the outside edge there. Uh, and so this is the uh, the top piece, and then there's a little divider piece that goes for the first top two drawers. That's the little divider piece, and you're gonna put the two little rails with a roller on it and in the top piece you'll put your little studs in and then the face plate with two little angle pieces and to fasten the divider to the top piece you, this is the only two metal uh, the little, those little cam lock pieces there um, so all the other ones are just plastic so as far as the frame piece it's all together you know got the two sides put together there and so this is just a little metal cross beam there that goes in between getting this put on and uh, you know like I say the, the little drill driver makes it a lot easier to uh, work these things in pretty quick I usually just went over it afterwards with the screwdriver just to make sure it was 
nice and torqued in. I'd, occasionally I would have to turn it just a slight bit more. So this setting was pretty pretty decent to get you know 99% of the turn or the of the screw in there. So we're getting ready to put the top on. So we're going to put the dowel pins here into the tops of the sides. You know, and if you just really look at the directions, it'll give you what part that you want to put your little dowel pins in there. So um, got those in, and we're just gonna set the uh, the top part on here. Um, you know, another little tip you might I'm building this on a you know a hard on a hard floor with no carpeting. So what I did was just use the uh, cardboard box section that, that, that it came in but if you have like a moving blanket or if you're building it on carpet you, know, you can see I've got it laid over here on the on the front end this is the back piece that um, you may notice working on it all the way till you get this piece on that it's uh, it doesn't have a lot of rigidity it feels like it would you know if you pushed on it you could knock it all over so once you put this piece on it definitely gets a lot uh, more stable and firm. Uh, I put basically started with the corners, put the nails in there, and then went to the middles, and then just basically spaced them about I don't know somewhere around five inches apart, basically all the way around. And so this part here, I kind of deleted this part. If you have small children, you want to fasten that thing to the wall. Um, but you know we don't have any small children, and wanted the option to be able to move it around if need be. So. Uh, and it, that's the first box. So this will be, you know, box two and three is basically just assembling the doors or the drawers, I guess. Again, same, more of the same. Putting the little studs, the little cam lock, and so the sides of the doors there. It's basically there's a little groove there on the end for the back piece, and then you got this little bottom. It's kind of a, I don't know, almost a thin piece of masonite or something that's coated anyway you'll work this there's a little groove in the back piece that that fits into and then this two grooves on the side pieces that those all fit together and you got these little plastic uh, pieces that are gonna fit into the two side holes there in the back right there so um, you just want to have you a rubber mallet or something or a little hammer to kind of smack those things in there. Kind of want to hold everything supported. You could lay it on the ground or you know if you had it the front part of the drawer sticks out a little so you meant to anchor it up under something but you'll notice that little bottom piece there will slide around so uh, there's a little plug here you can do this as you build the the drawers or just after the end whichever. This is the little rail with the roller the roller part will go to the back and then kind of more the upward position there so there's really pretty easy to figure out how to do it but this is what basically holds the bottom that little bottom shelf in as well um, and then on the long drawers you'll have this a little I don't know, support that goes there in the middle so what you want to do first is just screw the uh, there's a little screw there that you'll put in and then this kind of just slides over it and then you're gonna tighten it down just to the point where it's kind of snug but you can still rotate this that little cross beam so you'll turn that thing around 180 degrees get a little closer up view here uh, so we'll rotate that with the channel facing towards the panel and then on the other end you'll have this little just fits over the, the back side of the drawer so there's no pre-drilled hole there, so you're going to want to get a pick or some other kind of sharp object. You may be able to just push that screw in there, but it's easier if you have a little pilot hole to start with and then just thread your little wood screw in there. And that's basically it for that drawer. So, got our frame in place. It's probably easiest if you move that to where you're going to put it and then put the drawers in. So, if you just focus on uh, getting the little roller wheel above that other roller wheel and just set it right onto the little frame there and then kind of lift it up into there you'll feel it go over the first bump and then there was a, there's another you know that little bump keeps it from pulling all the way out but 
yeah, that's basically it. Uh, hopefully, if you're building one of these, you found the video uh, helpful. And um, got a few other videos like this making building furniture. So please subscribe if this is something you're interested in. Uh, yeah, that's going to do it. So thanks for watching.